Hello, this is a very quick review of the LG UL600. Uh, I will uh, describe how it looks like, how the controls feel like, how is the color reproduction, how it feels programming on it. A quick comparison with uh, Samsung's as well IPS panel uh, 28 inch, the only 28 inch uh, monitor with IPS on the market right now. And a uh, quick comparison between the other uh, other monitors from the same series. So we have LG27 UL500, 550, 600 and 650, which are very similar to each other and have very slight differences between them. So LG uh, UL600 has this uh, black front panel, thin bezels, and white back panel. So in the set you will also find white cables, white power cable, white display port, white HDMI port, and so on. The stand, as you see, it can only tilt, it cannot swivel, it cannot pivot, and there is no height adjustment. Uh, the color reproduction is this 99% sRGB, similar to the Samsung one which stands next to it. And it is 4K IPS, beautiful. Like for programming, IPS is really much better than VA or TN or anything else. It is very comfortable to use. Uh, the controls of the monitor settings can be done either by using the joystick on the bottom of the screen here. It is not very convenient joystick. And it also shows the menu firstly here. And when you go to settings, it is in the top right corner. So you have all kinds of settings. It's really why you can really the black uh, setup for the games, the brightness, contrast, uh, many picture settings. So you can have these picture modes like all this vivid HDR effect and so on. Yeah, it has HDR. This monitor and the brightness is maximum brightness is normally 350 candelas with HDR one. It reaches uh, 400. Uh, candelas. Now there is also the possibility to use the on-screen control to control the brightness and uh, everything else from here. Uh, this is the old uh, on-screen control. It is like new version 4.3 but it really didn't change much. I still remember having the exactly the same interface with an old like four years old uh, LG screen. Uh, it sometimes lags it is uh, really not very convenient to use. And in general, I would say that even though it has these two methods of controlling the screen, uh, my most used setting is the brightness because I sometimes code in the night, sometimes I code in the day, so I need to change the brightness. So when I want to change the brightness on this Samsung, which doesn't have any on-screen control, I just click up on or down and I have quick access to brightness immediately and it is very responsive. However, on LG, I either have to run the on-screen control and uh, change it from here. Uh, this would be inconvenient for someone who uh, is using the monitor for gaming because like running a separate application during the game is not very convenient. Or you can use the joystick to control the brightness, but to reach the brightness, you really have to go first to settings, then you go to quick settings, and then you finally have the brightness, which I find quite inconvenient. Like from the software side, I would say that for the monitor that uh, LG really failed here. Now regarding the size, size 27 inch is perfect, as perfect as 20 inch to get the crisp and nice and sharp image. Uh, I'll, I think that for the 4K it's the the best size. I like it much more than 32 inch and much more than 24 inch because with 32 you lose that uh, beautiful sharpness of the 4k. Now uh, it also what else? The, it has the HDR, it has very thin bezels and if you compare it to the other uh, monitors from the same series uh, the 500 and 550 they have uh, they have only 300 candelas, so less brightness and less sRGB reproduction has only, those have only 98%, 98 and uh, also the 550 compared to 500 has also the more advanced 
a stand so you can uh, adjust the height uh, and pivot the monitor itself same is now with uh, 600 unlike the 500 uh, series they have thinner bezels a little bit they have higher 99 percent srgb reproduction and again following the tradition 650 has that height adjustable stand unlike the 600 that you see now on the screen uh, that's it for a little bit more comparison between this monitor and this uh, samsung uh, the u28r55ou from samsung the new monitor uh, you can see in the other video when i reviewed this both monitors i really couldn't decide decide which one i want to keep so i took both of them and i will give one back and most probably that will be the lg because samsung has better uh, initial uh, height stand it has a little bit i like the colors more and then uh, it has a little bit larger size and the con access to the controls is much faster on the samsung so i would probably keep samsung i will think about it for a couple of more days and yeah the panels are slightly different both of them are ips but lg has a panel from lg and samsung has the panel from Inolux. i will drop the uh, link to this uh, description of the panel producers in the description of this video if i post it in the end